go to. That's fine. Good morning. Since Brett will be leaving early and here he has the 93 number one done. So here we have 93 number two. six side here. Got it, folks? Okay. All right, now we have another Venn diagram. And this is a probability one. So we talked yesterday, I think it was, that what do we know about what's inside the, the circles here? It's supposed to add up to one. And if it doesn't, then whatever's left is out here. All right, so what do we know? We have a probability of A's is 0.5. Probability of B's is 0.6. And what does this mean? Do you remember what does this symbol mean? Oh, and that's an and. Very good. So these are the people that like apples and bananas. So where do they go? We start with them. They go in the middle. Then we can work backwards. The whole apple ball is 0.5. Right? So with that 0.3, then this has to be 0.2. And the whole banana ball is 0.6. So this has to be 0.3. Now, what do those add up to? We have 20%, and these are probabilities. So we have 20%, 30%, and 30%. That's only 80%, which means there's 20% out here, and who are these people? Run the second 9.3 homework, 9.3 number two. Who are these people right here? They don't like either one, right? Apples or bananas. All right, so let's answer the question. Question is, what, what does this say? Probability of liking apples and no bananas. So where are the apples and no bananas people? Right there. Point two. Now the next one says probability of apple. Oh wait, what does this one mean now? What does no that mean? No, no apples, no bananas. So these are these. You guys with the program? Yep. Yeah. All right. So now we have read this one and tell me what you think your strategy is going to be. Are we going to do a Venn diagram? Are we going to do the C's like we do sometimes? This one is a triangle. It's the tree diagram. Can everybody recognize that? That's, that's half of the problem right there is figuring out how you're going to do it. We have 
two things happening in this problem. What are the things? Like yesterday it was homework and rain. What is it today? Taking pre cow and buying lunch. Okay? So we're going to have two tiers here. What's going to be first? Well, it's first is whatever the question isn't asking. So the question is asking about buying lunch. So this is going to be takes pre cow or no pre cow. Does that make sense to you? That's where we start with the one that isn't being asked about. Okay, um, and then we're either gonna <coughs> buy lunch or not, not buy lunch. Okay, so you got that, get that set up that way. Does anyone have a question about that framework? You okay with that? going in some numbers. The probability that a student buys lunch is 34% if he takes pre-cal. Okay, so where's that 34 going to go? Right here? Because this kid's taking pre-cal and buying lunch, so this is 0.34. We know he's taking pre-cal and he's buying lunch. he buys lunch is 76% if he doesn't take free count. Where does that go? That goes here. Now, as soon as I put these two numbers in, can I fill in these? Yeah. Okay, so that's 34. This one is 66. If you have a calculator, don't be afraid to use it. No lunch would be 0.24. We okay? Back? All right, now what else do I know? The probability that a student takes pre cal is 89%. So remember, in the beginning, we're either taking it or not. So this is an 89, and this is 11. All right, now I need an answer. I need one number that's gonna be my answer. Where is it going to come from? How am I going to get the probability that a student buys lunch? How am I going to do that? Multiply, Multiply right here, right? I can take pre cal and buy my lunch. So, key with their van, take pre cal and buy my lunch. So, I'm going to buy, or not buy those, I'm going to multiply those. What else could I do, though? I could not take pre cal and buy my lunch. So that's right here. Bless you. 0.11 times 0.76. Now, each of those is going to give me a number, right? What am I going to do with those numbers? So we should get one decimal. No need to round it off. Did you get 0.3862? And what does that mean then? There's about a 38.62% chance that a kid will buy his lunch.
So what's the probability that from Trey's bag, it won't be yellow? Point eight. Does everybody get point eight? Yeah. How about Jada's bag? It won't be yellow. Point seven. Point seven. What am I going to do with those two numbers? Times them. Times them. Because I want a not yellow out of Trey and a not yellow out of Jada, right? So the answer is? 0.56. Now, candy's going to be chosen from each bag. We want Trey to get red and Jada to get green. So Trey gets red. What's that probability that Trey gets red? 0.2. And times Jada gets green. Jada green is 0.2 again. So the answer is, please don't say 0.4, the answer is 0.04. as a percentage to the nearest 10. Okay, that's craziness. I don't like those directions, I need to change them. This is what my calculator said, would you agree with me? Yeah. Times 10 to the negative fourth. Now, if 
I'm going to answer as a percent. That's not a percent, that's the decimal. I'm going to move it two places. So remember what this means. This means 0 0.00495198123. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four. That's what this means. So if I'm going to answer as a percent, I have to move this two places. And it would be 0.0495%. Answering to the nearest tenth is stupid because that's going to be zero. So let's just leave it that way. Those are bad directions. I promise on the test, you can answer as a percent, a decimal, or a fraction. So this, this would be fine on the test. This decimal, if you take it out of scientific notation, means this. And then when I make it a percent, I move it two places. So that's why I got that percent. Make sure you can get this number on your calculator. All right, what is the probability of being dealt no face cards or no aces? So remember, there's 52 cards all together. There's four aces, okay, so 52, I'll take away four. Now I'm down to 48 cards. How many? 13. 13? 26. 26? Four. Four? Okay, the aces are out. These yeah. are the aces. Now I need to know how many face cards there are, right? Yeah. There's... What are the face cards again? There's a... Jack. Jack, queen, queen and king. There's three face cards. Well, there's also Joker, too. Right. Standard 52 card deck. So if you have Jack, Queen, King, eight of uh, clubs, hearts, diamonds, and spades, how many is that? 12. 12. Remember 12 face cards? Four suits, three each. 12. So I'm going to take 12 out of this. How many cards are left that are good? Face cards and aces are bad. I don't want those. So how many are good? 36. How many of those do I want? Five. So 36 C5 is your numerator. Did everybody follow how we got 36? Which that one's easy. What percent is that? 14.5 percent. Yeah. 14.5 percent chance of getting no aces or face cards. And finally, we want the probability of being dealt two red and three black. I'm going to put a time sign right there. How do I know I'm going to need a time sign? Yeah. And. So I'm going to do each one and I'm going to multiply them. Okay, so I need two red. What's two red going to be? 24%. Close. How many cards in the deck? 52. Half of them are red, aren't they? 26. C2. These are your black or reds. These are your reds. 26 C2 are your two reds. 26 red cards. I'm picking two of them. All right. What's three black going to look like? 26 C3. All right. Let's go ahead and type that in on our calculator.
assignments done. 